How you doing guys? Welcome to another episode. In this episode I'm going to show you how to adjust the canvas. In this case I'm working on my 2000 Honda Accord. One of my previous episodes I put coil overs on the car. That episode is going to be right here where I did the installation. In this case I'm working on adjusting the camber. I lowered the vehicle a little bit more than before. Before I used to have lowering sprints. So now that I put coil overs camber change. You guys know that I have true hard camber kit on the rear so that's what I'm working right now and then I'm gonna show you how to adjust the front. I have this tool right here. This one is gonna help me adjusting the camber. It's not gonna be like taking the car to a shop where they can adjust the camber where they can do alignment on your car but this one is gonna get me pretty much there. So link is gonna be in the description for this tool, for my coilovers, link is gonna be in the description for the camber kit. This little tool, first thing that you have to do is set it up. On this side is negative camber, on this side is positive camber. And the best way to have your camber will be like negative 0.5 degrees of camber. So that's where I'm gonna set it up. Right now I gotta put the tire back on the car and set it down, make sure that everything is level, make sure that my tool is level so I can adjust the camber. First things first, you gotta make sure that your tool is on zero. You're gonna see right there zero in the middle. Place your tool where you know that a surface that is flat, a surface that you know is straight, you can use a level to make sure. In this case, I'm using this bin from the garage door. If you notice, the bubble right there is right on zero. So that's where we're gonna start. So my car has been sitting on the coilovers for a couple of days. Now, the car, I have it where I want it to be. I can barely put my finger in it. So that's all the way around. What I'm gonna do right now is by using this tool, I'm gonna check the camber on the rear. If you notice in there, hopefully you can see it, it has almost one degree of negative camber. When you put your tool, you have to make sure that this bubble right here is right in the middle. You can see right there. And the car is really on a flat surface. It has to be in a flat surface or this process is not gonna work. Now that I have the tool where I want it to be, with this little knob on the back, you can adjust this level. You can move it one side or the other. So right now, I don't want to move it because I'm in the middle, right in the middle. I checked twice in a machine where we cut some tools so we know that that machine is really level. I checked it in the bin and this one it was on zero. So when you put it, make sure that you clean the magnet on this side, make sure that you don't have anything in it. And on my case, I can do this because my rims, they have really nice space between the spokes so I can put my tool. Bobo in the middle first, make sure that it's straight. So right there, everything is level. We almost have one degree of negative camber on the rear. I want to be on half, so I'm going to remove the tire. And I know by removing the tire and raising up the car, level is going to change. So I'm going to keep the level in there. I'm not going to move it. I'm going to lose the camber bolts and then just move it half a degree. And the setup is going to be ready on the back. Once I finish with this rear one, I'm going to go to the other one. Once I get that done, I'm going to move to the front one and I'm going to show you one of the front ones. Okay guys, so this nut right here and the nut on the back, I need to lose them up. I have 24 millimeter wrench. And right now, the bubble sits on negative 3 degrees of camber. So I'm just going to go, because I raised the car like I said before, I'm just gonna go half a degree on the camber. Okay. 
if this one you lose it to the left the other one you should lose it to the same left I don't have a lot of room to work with so now both of the nuts are loose I can put now half of the degree on positive camber to get everything right if I turn the camber to the right I'm doing positive camber if you can see now we have we used to have three degrees of negative camber now we have two and a half we went half a degree if you don't feel really confident about doing this and you prefer to take your car to the shop to do alignment go ahead and do it i want to do this process this way because maybe i'm going to adjust my coilovers later on if i need to drop it a little bit more or raise it up so with this tool i can do whatever i want on my camber and so far it's been working for me and then once I go to the front, I'm going to show you the front, how I adjust my camber on the front. Make sure it stays tight. Now with the other wrench, I'm holding the camber so it doesn't move. Very minimum space on the back. But still, I managed to get everything right. Now everything is done here let's move to the other side now that we move to the front if you notice this bubble right here is in the middle and on this one we have almost two and a half degrees of negative camber so I gotta bring it down around two degrees to have it on half a degree of negative camber so I'm gonna show you on the front how I adjust my camber if you see right here on the back on this tire, I uh, show you it was the same process. It was three and a half degrees of negative camber. So now that I put half a degree, it looks flush with the fender. So I'm gonna have to get a smaller spacer if I wanna drop it a little bit more. If you guys see right there, I have my Allen key. Really hard to get into it. I'm gonna try to get those four bolts loose because I gotta put my squeeze my hand in here. So it is really hard to get to it. It's gonna be really hard to film and get those four bolts loose. I already get this one done. So let me loosen it up and then I go back with you guys. I have all four bolts loose. So I just gotta push them forward and get the camber right. Okay, pushing it in. They're moving just a little bit. I gotta check it and see where we are. I push the camber to the outside now I think I just need to push it a little bit more and the camber on the front should be ready but before it was two and a half degrees of negative camber now it's almost one so we went down a significant amount of camber now my tires then are gonna wear out on the inside as much as before thanks to these two and that's how I do the adjustment on my cambers because now that I have coilovers, I have to do all these adjustments. And once in a while, I'm going to keep doing it with this tool. Because that's going to be a good way to save some money. Link is going to be in the description for the tool. And link is going to be in the description for everything that I use on this episode. I hope you like this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Peace.
Mm-hmm.